Hey YouTube, so God with so God's Gaming here, coming back at you with another opening. I went and got a sealed box of Lost Thunder, and I picked up some older stuff too. I'm wondering if you guys know, comment in the comment section below as to whether I got a good deal on these cards. I picked up all of these cards, including the ones in the background, for $2.40, so $0.20 cents a piece. Um, they are not in mint condition at all. As you can tell, they've got some condition issues. But they're also not super terrible. So let me know what you think about that. Let's get right into the opening without further ado. I'm just going to get myself a little thumbnail here real quick. So thanks for tuning in. I have been watching you know, how many views my videos get and um, based on when I post them and you know what sets I'm opening and it seems like Lost Thunder, wow I can't even open this like Lost Thunder is pretty popular right now I know it just went out of print so in this series I'm going to do just three videos I think since I was actually able to pick this box up from the card shop um, for not very much money. Now it still costs 120 retail, but I was able to trade a lot of singles in. Okay, so that's 12 packs. Okay, I will try not to make this video too long. I know it's been two minutes already without any packs opened. So if you skipped forward, I appreciate that. I'm also looking at like, kind of just the average view times of my videos as well. And it appears that people are kind of just skipping through them quite a bit. Um, I will give out some codes, but not too many. Lightning. Dark. Mareep and Beautyfly. I know they, they keep switching how the codes are facing. Like it's different in Lost Thunder than it is in Team Up. Get you guys a code there. I'll have to make sure to rip these right away. Fire. Ooh, we're on fire. Ooh, Professor Alms Lecture. There we go. That's a hit. Ooh, Trumbeak, that's a hit. Nice. So two hits already in one pack. Spinnerack and the Full Art Mimikyu GX. Not bad. I am not a huge fan of that card. But I am a collector, so I go based on the values of the cards. So when I saw the pink, I was excited. Maybe for a nine tails, but some first pack magic there. Cannot complain about that too much. So we've got our full art already on the first pack. Well, let's keep it going. Metal. Fairy. Kali. Choice Helmet. Hoppet. Pineco. Ooh. Garatina Hollow. I will definitely take that guy. This is this card's gone up in value. I know I was seeing it being played. So a very playable card apparently. So we'll put that in the hit pile. I'm also counting Professor Trum uh Professor Trumbeak. <laughs> Professor Elm's lecture and Trumbeak as hits. Uh Trumbeak I think is like a 20, 40 cent card. Got a little side collection of chum beaks going on. Lightning. Metal. Mantine. Ariados. Cutiefly. Ryko. And a Verizon GX. Not bad. Just your bulk GX. 
situation here. So that will go off to Troll Hunter. They pay $2 per. Hey, we got a Natu peeking out. Natu, how do you do? Dark. Lowland Diglett, Morlul, and a Primarina. Oh, I think Raikou is apparently a reverse rare as well. Not bad, not bad. Cyndaquil. Do you guys a code? So question of the day, once I guess the energy here, um, let's guess Leaf. Oh, messed that up, went right to the hollow, it was water anyway. That's cool. Gardevoir hollow. Oh, camera's having a hard time. Anyway. So the question of the day for you guys is, should I put more money towards buying a new camera and microphone and also getting my face cam on the uh, videos or do you think I should focus on putting my money and efforts towards just opening as many Pokemon packs for you guys as I can because right now I am focused on the second one of those two and just getting you guys as many openings as I can, but if you feel the quality isn't there, then uh, I'll want to know. So comment in the comment section below what you guys think. Lightning. Dark. Wait and see hammer. Netball. That's like a 15 cent card. It's uh, apparently pretty playable. So we'll put that in the goodies pile. Cyndaquil. Natu. Reverse. Always take a Natu. Reverse. Very nice. And a Tox Pex. Dark. Oh, put this on it. Celebi Prism. Love Celebi. I will definitely take as many Celebi Prisms as I can get. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you want to buy some Celebi Prisms. I have, I don't know, probably five or six now. That's probably exaggerating a little bit. Very cool. So I'll try to pick up the pace a little bit for you guys. Dark. Primarina and a Shedinja, which I think is a pretty playable card as well. So, got that reverse rare. Water, Fire, Morty, Quilva, Lowen Meowth, Mina, and, oh nice! Oh wow, that's a really big hit guys, oh yeah, Netball, Secret Rare, man that's, that's as good as it gets for Lost Letter, that's as good as it gets. Yes, it's not the Hyper Rare Lowen, Ninetales GX, but, you know, oh nice, Pokemon card. Very cool. Good condition as well. I've always thought Lost Thunder's got some pretty darn nice condition. So man, that kind of makes me um, interested about the next two openings I'm going to do because that's the secret rare and the full art within um, 
lightning. Within, you know, the first opening. Car bank and various. So do know also um, if you guys need any trainers, I might be able to like ship you some as giveaways. I know that's not a very probably not a very good giveaway, and I might not even do it as a giveaway, but just like message me and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, if you need any like Lost Thunder trainers, team up trainers, I have a play set of every trainer. Fire, fighting pincer, meowth again, Ralt, reverse rare, and a grand bull. Alright guys, so not ending with any last pack magic, but honestly, very happy about the pulls. The Mimikyu full art, I could do without, but um, everything else makes up for it. So we've got the Netball, Hyper Rare, Secret Rare, that is 234, 214, Celebi, Prism, Netball, Gardevoir Hollow, Giratina Hollow, which is like 3-4 bucks now, which is great, Trumbeak, Precious Elms Lecture, Verizon GX, just your bulk GX, and a Mimikyu GX full art. Very cool. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Try to make the next two videos not too long, but, um, you know, of course, always want to have some fun as well. So comment in the comment section below about my question, should I spend my money on cameras and mics or opening more Pokemon cards? I'm thinking Pokemon cards. Let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in. This is Silgrad with Silgrad's Gaming. On to the next.